Hello and welcome. Lovely to have your company. This is very exciting. We've got a brand new Le Blanche one day special for you. And as ever, it's Le Blanche. So you've got some amazing products, a really good prices, but get ahead of us. Because as usual, we've got loads and loads of different variations. Now, it is Le Blanche, so it's going to be dispatched uh, from the 26th of this, um, this month, isn't it? Yeah, and we are in March, Leone. Uh, so it is going to be going out from the 26th of March for you. And it's already busy. We're busy before the show, but it's already getting really busy. Now, we are talking about a real mixture of goodies. But first of all, the one day special. Um, we've got these beautiful brand new paints um, from La Blanche. Now, these are really gorgeous pastes, actually. And if I show you some of the things you can do with them. Now, they're quite a light paste. So when you look at them, first of all, if you just put um, one layer on you get quite a transparent finish which means that if you've got lights in there if you've got candles in there then they'll shine through beautifully and of course you can see the different colors as well so they're really really pretty you know when you first put them on they're really beautiful and as you can see this is on glass you can't see any brush marks you're just getting that wonderful glitter and the glitter like if I pick one of these up you can see it's a really nice subtle glitter um, you can obviously get texture in here. You know, you can do so much with these. Then it's going to go, what I love about this, I mean, we've got so many beautiful pieces of glassware. I mean, this is just phenomenal. Blanche has sent these in. Um, just incredible. But on the glass, how, how stunning does that look? I mean, that is ridiculous, isn't it? Of course, they're going to go on paper. You know, you can put them on wood. You can use them on your MDF. So they are um, multi-surface. They will dry permanent. You're not going to be able to put them through a dishwasher, but they are going to be able to dry permanent. So when you're on things like your glass, um, your, your bottles, when you're upcycling the beautiful glass plates, then they're absolutely gorgeous for your home decor. I mean, they just look phenomenal don't they? Absolutely phenomenal. Now, not only are you getting the beautiful pastes, you're also getting two of your sponges for easy application, but then you are getting a humongous bag or two bags of the gorgeous seed beads. You've got so many in here, it's ridiculous. These are huge. Now, the way Blanche uses these, they are seed beads. So, of course, you can use them um, in your, you know, your jewellery making, but the way she uses them is actually for your home decor and there's 225 gram in each bag then you can see here now i do believe that looks like it's been put on with double-sided tape i i think that is double-sided tape blanche will probably be able to um to confirm that but i think that's in double-sided tape i've used them and we have got let me show you we have got the paste on the show as well i've just mixed them with paste and put them on with paste and then you get this really nice texture and that's just your seed beads so the seed beads are going to give you texture they're going to give you that wonderful sheen as well which looks absolutely amazing and that with the the wonderful paste that we've got on the show oh my gosh that sets rock hard um beautiful Beautiful. Let me show you. I'm going to take one of the lids off the paste just to show you the texture of this because it is a really beautiful textured paste. So you can see there, I mean, it's really thick. It goes a long way. So perfect for stenciling. Look at that. That is not moving, is it? Beautiful for stenciling. You know, this is going to hold its texture. And the, the glitter in there is such a fine grade glitter. So it gives you that really, it's almost like a satin look when you first put it on. I mean, that has got such a satin sheen to it. And that's what the a couple of layers of the glitter gives you. You know, rather than it being a heavy glitter, it does definitely look more, um, more of a satin. Um, beautiful, absolutely beautiful now. For this kit, over 10% of the stock has already gone. It is Blanche. We are always busy with Blanche. Um, if you do want to get hold of this, you do need to be checking out your baskets. You've got your four brand new, um, beautiful lux Luxus pastes. You've then got your two sponges. You've then got those huge packs of your glass pearls as well. This is £29.98. and pence. You're saving, uh, today you are saving £6. So please check your basket out. Before we shift, can I just tell you about this because 
I am so pleased we've got these on the shot. Now, I haven't been able to play with these yet because um, I didn't get them uh, sent to me at home, but we have got them in here now. These have flown out every single time. You know that superb gold look that we've got on a lot of the samples? You can get that with these. These are, and these are super busy. They do sell out every single time. So you are getting a seriously cool metallic finish with this. You do need, with these, you need your white spirits, clean your brushes off. But, oh, my gosh, the finish on these. I mean, you can go on plastic and get a real high, intense um, metal look. You know, you can, obviously, you can go on glass. You can go on porous surfaces as well. These are absolutely fabulous, really cool. I cannot wait to play with them. Only $12.99, definitely check your baskets out with those because you will see them on some of the plates. I mean, some I know are gold leaf, but some of the actual, um, the, the lake, uh, liquid metal as well, stunning. Only £12.99, pence. really busy for those. They are always super busy. 648978 is your item number. Okay, next, now, Pentart. Um, Pentart is such an incredible company. I mean, massive fan of Pentart. Um, LeBlanche works closely with Pentart and brings her stuff a lot to her here at Adichanda. And this is a wonderful mixed media kit. So what you've got in here, first of all, you've got your 3D balls. Now, I love these because they give you texture. You know, you can mix them with acrylic paint. And you can mix them with um, your glues, your different mediums, spritz them uh, to get texture and then to get colour really really cool are those and you've got two massive tubs you've then got your heavy body gel but it's matte now this is essential okay the matte is perfect because you won't get that shine this is such an in, uh, you need that in your stash the matte highly recommend that and then now this is interesting stuff your 3d powder so with this you can mix it with any of your acrylic paints and change the acrylic paint into a texture paste. So you can make a really nice, thick, heavy body acrylic paste using that. Really cool stuff. Now, only £17.99. It's a cracking kit, is that? Uh, please check your baskets out with that one. 944070 is your item number. Uh, please don't forget that liquid metal paint. That is absolutely flying. I don't even know if I'm going to have a chance to play with that. It is seriously busy. Now, this is cool as well. Um, oh, I really like this. And I didn't get sent this one either. So um, I might have to pinch some of this one um, from the counter if it lasts though, because it is already really busy. Now, you are getting 12 sheets and you're getting all four designs. I love this. The steampunk deco, um, well, it's a rice paper actually, but look at this. It is so cool. Really, really different. I mean, isn't that just fabulous? You've got that wonderful steampunk in the background and then you're, you're fabulous um, couple there looking at the, the wonderful machinery. Just, just incredible. And look at her. I mean, she's just marvelous, isn't she? Love this. Only £14.99. pence. And just look at some of the things that have been made with this. As ever, just gorgeous. On the glass plates, the rice paper just looks amazing. And you see, things like this are so easy. I tell you what as well, that liquid paint around the edges of your plates, it looks really good around the edges of your plates. Perfect finish. Look at that. See, we need Blanche to bring in loads of liquid uh, glass plates, don't we? Because I don't know about you folks at home, but I have trouble finding glass plates. It's just, I really do. And look at this. I mean, that is amazing. Absolutely amazing. I'm going to nick this one from the back as well. I love these. Absolutely beautiful. See, on something like that, doesn't that look phenomenal? You've got that beautiful rice paper. Obviously, loads of incredible um uh, the moulds, and that's one of the moulds that Blanche has brought in the past, isn't it? And then the rice paper in the back there. Absolutely love that. Now, this rice paper, remember, you are getting all 12 sheets. It is only £14.99. If you do want that, sorry, I've no, I'll pop that back up there. If you do want to get hold of this, you have to check your baskets out. This is so, so busy. That, oh, it's going to be one of them, isn't it? Which is going to go first. Um, oh, don't know. And I'm not going to call it. This is beautiful as well. 
already a quarter of the stock has gone. This is beautiful. Um, this is the lilac collection. Now, this is decoupage paper. As you know, with Le Blanche decoupage paper, you submerse it in water and then pop it on whatever you're working on. And honestly, this is stunning. I mean, look at that. How pretty is that? Isn't she beautiful? Absolutely beautiful. And again, with this, you're getting so much for your money. You're getting four massive A3 sheets here. And, and you're getting 12 in total. Um, so you're getting two of each. No, three of each. I'm oh, sorry, made me maths. Um, which is phenomenal. I love it. And I like the background one as well. That is essential. Really beautiful. And again, look at some of the stuff that Blanche has sent us. I mean, she sends us the most gorgeous finished samples. Doesn't that look lovely on the box? I'm going to show you some more that are be behind me. Because, like, on here, on the little boxes, this is flying. I'm not surprised. It's so pretty. It's a, and what I love about this, because you get so much for your money, that is on glass. She's really good at doing these. She puts it on the inside of the glass. I, I don't know how she does that, but Blanche is a very patient and clever lady. How does she do that? I know, right? But, but look at that. Isn't that incredible? On the inside of a glass vase. It's beautiful, beautiful. So, it's so romantic, isn't it, that one? Yeah, we love that. And it is absolutely, oh, let me show you that. That is amazing. Look at that box. How cool does that look? That's just cardboard box upcycled. I mean, it's one of the hat boxes, the Blanche hat boxes. But, oh, isn't that just gorgeous? And I tell you what, I tell you what, um, your one day special goes beautifully with this. The colour goes so beautifully with this. They really match hand in hand. Now, a third of the stock has gone. If you do want this, please check your baskets out. Um, we knew that a fly. Um, it is 992391. Next. Now, your wooden ornaments. Now, this is, you know, the, uh, the bendable wood. That's what this is. So all you need to do is heat this and then it will bend. It's really cool. So it means then I know Blanche didn't get these quite in time to do finish samples, but something like this. So can you see on that how that has gone round the box? That's exactly what you can do with these. And you can heat them up with a head rate. You can put them in your oven. And you can heat them up with, um, like, um, what else? Heat gun, obviously. Um, but the detail on these is amazing. These are brilliant if you are upcycling boxes. They're going to go around jars. Um, obviously, if you're doing furniture, these are amazing. And the price, you're getting three of these big, beautiful ornaments. And then you're getting six of the six small ones. Now, you can file these down you can paint them using any paint because it is a wood at the end of the day so you can use all sorts of mediums on those really really cool and only 17 pounds and 99 pence your price 383 960 is your item number now the stamps you may have seen these before and um, they have been so busy in the past they've sold out in the past um, and they are just gorgeous really really cool um, and look at that saving, a £15 saving. That is absolutely phenomenal. And I just love these. I mean, look at the detail. As ever, LeBlanc stamps are just, they don't feel like they should work. They absolutely work. I mean, the detail of that stamp is phenomenal. You've got all the text in there. You've got the fantastic um, gentleman. You've then got, I mean, look at the flourish on that one. That is so ornate and beautiful. That really beautiful stamps. What else have we got here? So you have got the wonderful horse, which is just incredible. You've got some amazing borders. Um, I mean, they are so cool. These are going to mix and match with your uh, your steampunk as well. Really nice stamps. Obviously, it's Le Blanche. So you've got in that really nice foam by, uh, mounted stamp. Um, on the silicone, so it means really easy to actually get that gorgeous image. And then you've got all those wonderful borders as well. R yeah, I love these. You might have seen them before, but they might be new to you. If you missed out last time, absolutely make the most of that price. 19 pounds and 99 pence, you've got 10 stamps here. 
That's working out at like one ninety nine per stamp, isn't it? Uh, such a good price. Nineteen pounds and ninety nine pence. Do not miss out on those. Um, that is, and I'll just show you a few of those. Four seven eight three four nine. And look at the quality. Isn't that fabulous? Yeah, that is the quality of the stamp. Aren't they sensational? Um, okay, if you do want these and the backgrounds, I mean, all the backgrounds are the stamps. All that in the background is the stamps. The beautiful. Um, nineteen pounds ninety nine pence is your price. Please check your basket sites. That is four seven eight three four nine. Now something else that we've got for you, and this is already really busy. Don't buy this because I've got two demos set up for this. <laughs> um, and it bugs me when I've done demos and it sells out before I get to it. Now, £90.99 pence is your price for that. Um, this is beautiful. Uh, it's only, um, so it's only £99 because you've got a £6.7 and honestly, it's huge. I really like that kit. The paper is beautiful. And I tell you what, those laser die cuts are amazing. Yeah, really enjoyed that, which is why I set up two demos for that because I got carried away. Uh, 658508 is your item number um, and that is beautiful. Now obviously if you're spending £60 or more it does open up a flexi basket. If you've no idea what I'm talking about here's a little clip to tell you more. Flexi order has arrived at Hachanda. What is flexi order? When you place an item on flexi buy in your basket you qualify for flexi order which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. Now, what I wanted to do, first of all, we'll just show you the pace on cardstock, because you can use them on cardstock, obviously. Because it's a nice texture, when you put them on your cardstock, you're going to get that texture. Now, that's um, that beautiful kind of greeny mint colour, which is just gorgeous. The pink, I mean, look at the pink. That is so pretty. And the, the glitter on this is so fine. I mean, it doesn't really look like a glitter. It looks like um, a metallic sheen rather than a glitter, doesn't it? You know, it's a really interesting product. Like with that one, it doesn't look like a glitter. Do you know what I mean? Like some things are, are seriously glittery, but this doesn't, and the texture is lovely. Now, what I do like about this as well, because it's a finer colour, so it's not as heavy, it's more transparent. So if you put, like, this is actually cleaning my stencil, but I really like that because I can see under the paste. So if you're layering, if you want to put it on, te on um, text or decorative papers, you can see under that design. And I, I did like that, that's cleaning the stencil. But again, it's not too intense, it's not too heavy. Really, really like that. So of course, pop it on your paper, you can use it for all that, but um, I'll pop it on some glass. Blanche has sent me a couple of empty wine bottles. <laughs> empty. I have bought, I went shopping yesterday and then bought loads of glassware so I'll show you some of that. Now um, let's start, I'll use a lilac first of all. Now um, I know it's busy everywhere actually, we've got people tuning in from all over the world, thank you ever so much. Um, email in because I'd love to know where you're, you're shopping from. Now with the paste you are going to get two sponges. Is there any more sponges available our lovely Katie? Yeah, we're having a little look. Um, so you want to be getting the, the paste on your sponge. Okay. And then all you're going to do. Now, first of all, just stroke the paint up and down. Okay. I will say paint when I mean paste. Now, what you want to do with this, you're going to give it your first coat is going to be really nice and light. Okay. Now, you're going to go... Um, First of all, go vertical and then go horizontal. 
or vice versa. And that will give you a really nice coating. So you'll see your first coat, can you see how translucent, well, transparent that is? So it gives you, it almost looks like, um, oh, what's it called? Just a frosting. It just gives you, oh, can you hear it crunching on my glass? Sorry, you wouldn't be doing it at an angle. I'm doing it at an angle to show you. But then you can hear it crunching on my glass mat. <laughs> so you can see. Now, over 20 percent of the stock has gone i tell you what it is it's very quick drying as well so can you see already so that is one coating and it just gives it almost a frosted look i really like that as it is i just think that looks really really pretty so that just gives you that um that really subtle sorry i'm giggling that really subtle frosted look I'm sorry, I literally, I'm only, I'm only giggling because poor Adam nearly tripped over a wire and that isn't funny. <laughs> and it, I, Adam is in the building entertaining me behind, <laughs> behind the camera. <laughs> Cheeky bit of slapstick. <laughs> Uh, sorry Adam so that's your first coat I am going to let that dry it is very quick drying but I am going to let it dry and then I'll show you the second coat you can dry it with your heat gun which obviously I forgot to plug mine in well, actually I forgot to even find mine let alone plug it in it's somewhere uh, but so what I wanted to show you were I'll show you the second coat in a while but I am going to show you if you go on thicker with the stencil so this is one I did yesterday so that's had about two coats on okay but if I now take take one of my stencils so this is obviously one of the um the blanche stencils one of the adhesive stencils and these are great for this um if you've already got them oh i pulled that out then i were too rough um if you've already got these because they're sticky it means you don't have to worry about the paste going under the stencil which is just marvelous so i'm just going to pop that on like so and then now for this application, what I'll want to do is not I'm not going to use I could actually use my sponge, but I'm not going to. I'm actually going to use my palette knife. I'm getting all the paste off because that's what you find, isn't it? You know, your sponges, it'll hold it within the sponge. You don't want to waste any. So you put it all back in there again. And you could use a sponge. I'm using a palette knife because I'm used to using a palette knife. A quarter of your one day special has gone. It is so busy and you can see the consistency. I mean, it's so pretty, but when you're putting it on your, with your stencil, um, obviously with this to actually do your, um, the complete jar, you'd let it dry before putting your next layer on. So just let your first layer dry and then you can bring your stencil, move your stencil and then put your second layer on. But the beautiful thing is with this, it's showing you you can put it on really wonderful and smooth, but of course you can stencil it on as well. So that's where you're going to get your texture. So almost done, just taking it round to the end and it will be dead easy to line up as well even though it's quite a detailed stencil but it is because it's adhesive so you're not faffing about trying to stick it down okay so if i go to about there again cleaning that off so i'm not wasting anything and just peel that off and just look at that i'm just going to go around like there like that and then just round the top so i'm just blending that top in like that and look at that doesn't that just look beautiful the texture on that is amazing isn't it and i love that i love the color on color do you know what i mean the same color on the the color underneath i just think that looks absolutely beautiful really really beautiful just allow that to dry now it's me so that stencil we ain't gonna clean that off um, and waste our beautiful paste. This is where, if you've got um, any of your decorative papers, gorgeous go of your decorative papers. Now I'll just use it on a uh, cardstock. This is actually nice cardstock. Um, so popping it on my cardstock, taking my brush, and I know I do this all the time, but it's worth it because look at that paste. Even. I mean, just doing it like this, if you're just using this paste as stencil, it just looks wonderful on cardstock because it's a really nice, subtle colour. 
It's very pretty. And this will go with that lilac paper beautifully. It'll go with a steampunk as well because you, you've got so many different sort of uses with it. And like I said, that glitter, because the glitter is so fine, it doesn't really look glitter. It looks shimmery. I mean, doesn't that just look beautiful? And that is cleaning your stencil, which I think looks absolutely gorgeous. Now, by now, I am thinking that's dry. Already, that is dry. So when you come to do your second, um, your second layer, now, you can mix and match your colours. So you don't need to put the same colour over the top if you don't want to. However, we're going to go in with the lilac again. Now, I know the lilac has been busy. Obviously, the best way to go for this is definitely uh, your one-day special. Oh, in fact, the only way now because we have sold out individually. So, but over a quarter of the stock has gone with your one-day special. So just moving up the jar like so. And then take another layer, just move round, and you're just going to be moving up the jar like so. And this way you're going to get, I'll just get that lovely finish. This way you'll get that lovely, um, that lovely build up of colour. And that's the thing with this, it will build up. There we are. And then just build this up again. See? So just building it up, building it up. And you can put on as many layers as you want. It's up to you. And just spinning this round and we're back to the beginning. And then just building it up like this. There we are, nearly at the top again. And when you look at that, how many layers? I've only done two layers already. And can you see already that lovely shimmer? Isn't that gorgeous? And I really, really, the colour of that, it's just such a beautiful soft colour. There's a bit patchy where I've gone a bit heavy with my sponge on that bit and taken it off rather than putting it on. But the thing is, don't worry about it. Because when it dries, but wait for it to dry. So if there's any bits that are a bit patchy, like I haven't gone uh, properly up to the top here. So if there's any bits that are a bit patchy, wait for it to dry and then go back in. So don't try and do it while it's wet because you're not going to get it uh, to go on properly while it's wet. That's when it will be all patchy. Now, if you were working on, and this is something I wanted to show you because I kind of like the glass. So I did pick up some cheap glasses. Now, it won't go through the dishwasher. So if you're doing um, things like glasses and things, what you'd want to do is, um, obviously you can you can swill them out, you can be careful, but they're more like um, if you're giving them for presents, you know, more like uh, for gifts. Sorry, I'm getting the sticker off. I should have done that first. Um, so if you're giving them for, for gifts, that'll be absolutely perfect. You want to be washing your sponges out because this does set permanently. Um, so if you don't, then of course you're, you're going to have some hard sponges. So just taking this off the top and I always keep the, um, the metal. Um, um, it annoys me, but it, it just, I, I feel it helps it not dry out with any of my Pentart products and my LeBlanche products. Okay, so just taking the, um, ooh, don't bash the glass. Good grief, I'd be a bit heavy handed there, weren't I? So with this, now look, at first it just gives you, and it's quite interesting how it builds up to that colour. Because when you just first put it on, it literally just looks like, again, it's just got a frosting on it, doesn't it? You know, you can't really see any colour there. And then just pick that up, because it is very transparent. When you first put it on, it's very transparent. So it'll just give you that really soft frosting. We are approaching 30% of the stock now gone. Do you know what I want to put on here, on the base? I want to put my liquid metal paint. I'm going to have a go with that, I tell you. But look, so just going round the base of the glass. Now those lumpy bits, get rid of them. Because I found it does dry permanent. And I did get a bit carried away with the first one I did. So I had lumpy bits. I mean, I covered it up, but get rid of them. But then do the bottom of it. This will help um, do, uh, get the intensity of the colour. So just go around the bottom of the glass as well. Now again, when you look at that, around the edges, I'm just going to take my sponge and just dab. Now you can see when you dab, can you see how the colour's stronger? 
with the dab. So on up the actual flute of it, that at the minute just looks like it's got that soft frosting. Then round the outside, you've just got that beautiful soft uh, colour to that. But when that dries, we will give it another layer and then you'll be able to see how that starts to build up. See, I bet by now, obviously the one we've stenciled, that's going to take longer to dry because it's thick. But when I come on to this already, that's still a bit tacky. So I do need to give that a little blast dry because it is a little bit tacky. So what I'm going to do, shall I give that a blast dry? He's on his way. He didn't trip over anything. He's running like this. Um, now, please, please check your baskets out. It is super, super busy. I'm going to uh, give this a blast dry and then put another coat so you can see what it looks like. But over to you. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> we are very busy. These are the slippiest shoes in this studio. <laughs> I've already gone once and there was nobody in here earlier. <laughs> I went flying straight down the middle. <laughs> so, you know, you just lie there and you think, I do hope no one's <laughs> uh, Just lie there. Uh, we are very, very busy for the LeBlanc. Well, of course, it's LeBlanc. 30% of the stock has already gone. Everything is dispatched from the 26th of March is what we're looking at for here. But look at the beauty that you you can achieve when you get this home. Those old bottles that you want to recycle, those little jars, those jam jars, those, anything that you've got in your home, you can now start upcycling. And nine times out of ten when we do these sorts of things, <laughs> nine times out of ten when we do these sorts of things, they're sort of odd colours that don't really go with anything. These are so bang on trend. These will bring a pop of colour into your home. Uh, they're very spring colours is what you're looking at. And they really are. Look at the colourways from the violets that you've got in there to that beautiful silver that you've got in there to the pink and the purple. And that's just the paste. We then start talking about the bit of bling on the sea beads that you get here now. Normally when we talk sea beads, you get a little, a little tiny packet. Look at this. Look how deep. They are 225 grams per plate is what you are getting. So whether you use these for your mixed media, whether you use these as actual sea beads and you string them together to make a beautiful chain that's going to go around the top, maybe you're going to get some of the corks and put lights in them. You can do that now. You take one of the bottles and put over a bit of tape yeah, and wrap it round and then roll just roll your bowls through them. You are going to get this beautiful look, but in crisp sea beads. These are no other beads. These are sea beads. And it's all for £30. £29.98 is what you're looking at. 101110 is your item number. We are phenomenally busy. Phenomenally busy for a launch hour. You are absolutely adoring it. Um, I like things like this, like the wine glass. Just look at that little element that you've got on the bottom. You know when you go to a party and you normally get those, um, those little wine key rings that you put around your glass so that you know it's yours? Yeah. I don't really need one because I just hold on to mine. No one ever gets yeah. my glass. But uh, you could do that with these now, but you could do them in the beads. So you could go with that hint of colour because you've got some masculine colours in here as well with the silvers and the greens. Uh, I, I think they're absolutely adorable. Something else that is flying out of the door over a third of the stock has already gone here now. The liquid, God, I don't know, one of the smallest arm, it's like a T-Rex. Uh, one of the smallest arm. Uh, why can't I order normally? At uh, 12.99, we're talking about the Pentart 3 liquid metal, gold, silver and copper is what you're looking here. You can see the liquid that's in there. Uh, it is a beautiful thing to work with if you've never tried it before. Uh, everything's on extended delivery. Because uh, we are talking about uh, Le Blanc. Uh, 26th of March is what you're looking at. 12.99 is what you're looking at for those the liquid gold. 648978 is your item number. Right, decoupage paper. This is, and I know it's a cliche, and we all say it, it's flying out the door. It's right now. It's flying. 60% of the stock. And this is the launch hour. We're meant to have, this is meant to last for 24 hours. Uh, this is the lilac decoupage kit. Uh, you're getting uh, so many sheets in here as well. 12 sheets that we've missed off there. You just get 49 centimetre sheets. Uh, tw oh, 12 times 35 by 49 centimetres sheets. Uh, 17 pounds and 99 pounds. How much is gone? 60% of the stock here now has already gone. 992391 is your item number. 
Uh, mixed Media Liquid is up next that we've got. So this is your Mixed Media Liquid. You're getting five different colours uh, in this as well. You get your blue, green, you get your black, you get your uh, burnt. Oh, nice. Uh, Thorn in there, £16.99. Uh, 092106 is your item number for this one as well. Um, if you're liking it now, I would urge you to get your hands on them. It's very rare I have an urge, but I would say now, if you want it, I would get it because I don't think it'll be here tomorrow. I really, really don't. Uh, right then, let's go back for more demonstration. Look at this. This is <laughs> dry already. Give over. You said it would take ages. I thought it'd take ages. That's dry already. And have you blasted that? I've blasted it gently, but not much. It didn't need much. That's Where good. it's a tiny bit thicker, I need to be careful, but isn't that incredible? So I'm going to give it another layer because I want people to see just how cool this looks when it's done. Um, and I, I just think something like this, when you are doing your, um, your mixed media and stuff or your home decor, I mean, this is going to be amazing for home decor and upcycling. Um, it is super busy. A third of the stock has now gone uh, with this. Right, I'll be a bit quicker slapping it on this time because I did take my time last time. So I've just kind of um, layered it. So it's almost, it's kind of overlapping really, because the thing is with uh, this design, you can have it overlapping. You can't really see where it's, um, where it's joined. You can get away with it a little bit. This. So it's beautiful stencils as well. I mean, if you've managed to get these in the past, the fabulous stencils, I love them. I haven't had the, the recent ones, but the, oh, I love them all. So just bring in that round. Again, I know I'll need to do another, just another tiny bit, so I'm not too worried if I don't bring it right to the edge. There we go. But it's so effective, right? Okay, happy with that. Boom. So now when I peel that off, pop that there a second, just go round the bottom, clear that off at the bottom, Look then round, that. hey, <laughs> round the top. That's good, actually. That's all right. And look at that now. I mean, how quick. Isn't that quick? That is beautiful. And it's all the way around to there. So actually, that has taken no time at all, but that looks phenomenal, doesn't it? How amazing is that? And that jar were proper cheap. It were only £1.99. Was it? Mm. I know, all right? Bargain from um, a shop that sounds like... I should be in America on a farm. <laughs> yeah, it rhymes with strange. That's probably better. Thanks. Thanks, Katie. Ah. Oh, yeah. You should be home rhymes. on the home on the range with the deer <laughs> and the antelope play. Did, 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 did. Yep, that one. One pound and ninety nine pence. You went round the houses with that one, I didn't you? I did, did not. I couldn't think of anything. Katie's <laughs> rhymes with strange was much better. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. OK, cleaning my stencil off. This time I'm clean on acetate. So if you're obviously if you're using this paste for your card making, you can use it on paper, but it's going to dry on glass, so it's going to dry on acetate. Um, I'm cleaning my stencil, so I know it's not going to be perfect, but that's fine. That's, that's kind of... Um, I don't mind that anyway. So have a look on that on the acetate. So I've cleaned my stencil, but doesn't that look pretty? Absolutely gorgeous. Now, what I'm going to do, pop that to one side for one second, let that dry on its own, bring in that bottle again, because I'm going to show you as I build up the colours. But I want to, I'm going to keep with the lilac. I'm being a bit boring, I haven't used any other colours yet. I'll keep with the lilac, because I just want to show you as you build your colours up, what it looks like when you start building these colours up. Because that's what I love. I love seeing the intensity just grow and grow with the colour. And just, um, it depends where, it, you know, you want to go to with this. It depends how deep you want that colour to go. Because you might want it quite soft and subtle. You might want it nice and rich, you know, that choice is yours. And I'm just moving this up. Oh my good grief, it is so busy. We're 40 percent of the stock and I did not expect that I must admit 40 percent of the stock so busy please check your baskets out for this one day special moving up the jar and you can see I'm not reapplying my sponge loads in fact I'm being careful not to get any dollops you know what you don't want to thicker bits like that and that's why it's better to put 
your layers on fine rather than going really thick. So it's better to, to light, layer it up, as you can see. And I do apologise for the crunchy sound. Do you want me to get you a cloth? No, it it's, it's, the, it's the glass on the... On, here you go. Shall I use that? We are. I've it's got a, a glass one. because we've got a glass mat. So it's glass on glass, in it? And I hate that sound. There, that's better, isn't it? There. And then, good grief, we've only got 15 minutes. Do you know, mind you, I've got a one-day special, so the demos I've prepped are fine. Actually, look at that. You can see the colour. Oh, thank you, dear. It's probably better than my dirty one. <laughs> you can see the colour. Can you see that colour building up now? Doesn't that look amazing? And because I'm only going on fine, and again, don't panic. If you've got patches, please don't panic. The way to get over that, when you've done it, when you've, you're happy with the colour, if there's any patches, let it dry, and then you go over the top and just stipple it. And if you stipple over the top, then any patchy bits that you might have, you can just cover those up. So please don't worry about that. So. Let me just build up that glass as well, because look, and this is the interesting bit, because where I've got, oh yeah, that's better than my dirty cloth. So where I've got the glass, where you can see that pink. So if I now come in with the pink and just pop that layer on again, and it's building up just a tiny bit. So I'm hardly picking up anything on my sponge. And don't, don't be tempted to go in really thick, you know, and get it too chunky. Because if you'd go too thick and get it too, um, too thick at first, oh, <laughs> now it's sticking. If you get it too thick at first, then those, if you get chunky bits, then they'll dry like that. It dries solid. And I found that out the first time I did it and I got too chunky a bit and it didn't look nice. So avoid chunky bits. You go on nice and fine and nice and just build that color up. And as I said, that's a bit too chunky there. And as I said, as you build it up, it'll just, the color will start building up. So that beautiful frosty look and then get the base. So that frosty look will just build and build. And now, this second layer, I can really see that pink coming through. Them bits are the bits you want to get rid of. So I can see a bit of a chunky bit on the stem. Get rid of the chunky bits, OK? If so, we painted it on yes. and then we dipped it into the sea beads, would they stick? Right, with the seed beads, what I would do is put them on with... Um, Glue. Yeah, because you don't really want to put this, it's not going to be um, thick enough to actually hold the seed okay. bead. So you want to be, let me get some of that extra off, I'm messing up. Um, so you want to be putting it on, I think LeBlanche has put them on with double side tape. I used my, um, you know the, um, the wonderful mixed media kit? Yeah. I use a mixed media kit and I, wa I will show you that in a few moments time and then at the bottom there as well so popping the bottom on yeah, and the yeah. bottom because it's a glass that is essential do that because that will really help build up that pink and now you can really see the pink coming through can't you how cool does that look and again that's two very fine layers now let me just leave them there i will wash the sponges out what i would as I, you know me i like building up um backgrounds i'd use your sponges for backgrounds so use those to actually um when you clean them out use them to build up a background now if i come back to this it's still a little bit tacky it's acetate so i know i'm not going to be able to blast this dry um, i'll give it a i know I, I literally say that and then think oh i'll be able to get away with a little bit i know it's not heat um it's, I shouldn't do this, basically, but I'm being impatient. I'm wafting it because I know if I let the heat sit on it too long, it'll start to, um, it'll start to wrinkle up. Oh, that's all I needed. Perfect. Right, let's go on the other side, OK? I'm only working on this, so I'm actually going to cut it out because I just want to work on that part. OK, so let's work on this part like so. And then like this, and then like this. OK, and then let's go on with... Oh, now, you'll have to... Yes, I know. I haven't used these yet, folks, at home. So this is me experimenting live on TV. Um, but they're super, super busy. How much? Over 40% of the stock has gone. So when you use these, what you do need to do, first of all, is give them a stir. So... 
Um, make sure you give them a good stir. You will need white spirit to clean your brushes or your sponge with these because um, obviously these are solvent based and that is why they'll give you such an incredible effect on things like um, glass and on plastic. I mean the coverage is amazing. So don't that look good just stirring it? Look at that. Doesn't it look amazing? Love it. Absolutely love it. Now, I'm working on the wrong side of my acetate. I'm working on acetate because I think on card, I'll put paper down so you can see a bit, because I think on card, this is going to look absolutely amazing. Like a background for a piece of card. It'll look phenomenal. I'm just going to take, um, oh, shall I take a sponge or a brush? I'm going to take a brush for this one. Not one of your best brushes, Leone. Come on. Okay, oh, I'm faffing, sorry. I can't make my mind up. Mm. <laughs> can't make my mind up, mm. there we go. Oh, look at that. Look at that paint. Now, I don't want to cover it. She says, absolutely <laughs> covering it. I did want to put other paints on, so I might just do little bits of it there. So I'll do thicker bits and then finer bits. Like so. This will dry quick as well. No, oh, I want to use this on everything. <laughs> so while this dries, I'll start using it on someone else as well. That is so gorgeous. So while that dries, look, oh, I've got pink on there. Now get that off before it dries, because obviously. So, yeah, that's dry. So look with this, around the edge. Oh, my word. And that's on that pink. Pink and gold's good, isn't it? I'm literally just spinning it round. That where it's not taking, I bet the um, thing is still wet because I'm being a bit impatient. But look at that, just edging it. Doesn't that look fabulous? Absolutely fabulous. I literally want to put this on everything in front of me now. Literally, I'm looking round. I am looking <laughs> round for things to physically put this on now because it's one of those that you just want to play with. Um, what about, no, not at that one. What about this one? Because I were playing with this one. I haven't finished this one yet, but, but let's have a little see. Shall we see if it'll go on a stencil? Honestly, just playing now. Let's see. So I'm just popping that stencil again. With your stencil, if you're using this, you will have to, and I'm having to be careful because of the the um, the shape of this this jar. It's got like um, a lip at the bottom, so I'm making it really hard work for myself, quite frankly, because I've picked up a really hard jar to work with. I mean, realistically, you wouldn't do this, but you know. Let's see what it looks like. Might go under it a little bit because not all of that is glued down properly. But I'm not too worried because I'm only playing. Would you have to wash your stencil? You know me, I wouldn't bother. But if, if you want to, and that's not going to mess with my stencil, is it? But if you want to, yeah, but you'd have to use liquid gold. Um, you'd have to use um, white spirit. Now, I've completely messed that up. Look, look. But you know what? I'm not going to worry about that because what I'm going to do is decide. It's made me decide to do something different. So what I'm actually going to do is blend a couple of colours together. Would that so, have worked that. if the that. shape of the bottle was different? Yeah, yeah, it'd have absolutely worked. If the shape of the bottle had been... Yeah, yeah, yeah the shape of the bottle was... Yeah, yeah. Was oh, yeah, I can completely blame the bottle. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> or, or the person using it trying to, trying to wing it. It were me. Never. I were like, oh, wait, oh, it'll be right. It'll be, it'll be right, my, it'll be right moment when, yeah. I really should be wearing my penny right now. I really should. See, now this one really needs a bit of a mix. Should, do you want to give a reminder while I mix yes, myself? Yes, I can give a reminder. Uh, we are very busy for these. Almost, almost half the stock has already gone. They may not even be here for Catherine's show later, uh, to be honest. Uh, what a shot, Adam. At least get the labels. Uh, so, uh, uh, we are very busy for... Oh, if you're getting brought, uh, gold, silver and copper as well. Uh, a little goes a long way, we found out. You're getting 30 million each for £12.99. 648978 is your item number. Uh, they are beautiful. They really are. They are going to add a touch of class to every these over your uh, fleur de lis that we've got. Uh, you know, the, the wood that you can mould would look stunning. Imagine taking one of those little rosettes and putting that on your wine glass. 
<gasps> and painting the colours down. Nice. Uh, one day special though. Over 40% of the stock has gone in the very first hour. This is flying out the door. You are getting all four colours of your, lu your luscious paste that you're getting here. And you're also getting your adapters, your adapters, your, uh, your um, <laughs> applicators. applicators. Uh, of course you adapt them. Uh, you're getting your applicators and you're getting uh, the amount of beads that you are getting here is unreal. These are absolutely beautiful. It is worth its weight in gold. Look at the price of what you're actually getting and then look at what you're getting and what you can do with it. You can go on to plates, you can go on to glass. If you've got Blanche's stencils from last time she was here um, via Skype, you can use that as well because it all adds and it's all very, very modern. It is absolutely stunning. If you were gifted, imagine gifting a bottle of wine like this. Maybe you were given a cheap bottle of Plonk for Christmas or for your birthday and you think, oh, I don't really drink. Jazz it up, take the label off, leave the stuff in the bottle, but jazz up the bottle with a bit of bling and the colour that you've got thrown on there as well. If I tilt that forward, you'll be able to see it. it's absolutely stunning. Uh, garden parties are only around the corner. You imagine using this for your garden parties. Pop your church candles in there. Uh, it would look stunning. It really, really would look beautiful with the flicker of light that you've got through there, through the shiny pink, through that purple, even the silver and the green that you've got. The green would look stunning outside. Match with it as it hits that and the sun sets in the sky. Uh, it's really, really worth it. £29.98, 101110 is your item number. Let's go back with the silver now. Oh, yeah, look, look, look. So I'm mixing the silver and the gold together. And look how they... And I love that it's going on top of um, the beautiful texture it looks of like gold this. silver leaf. Doesn't it look good? I mean, look at that shine. That is just incredible. But mix it. So get... So a little bit of the gold on the sponge. I put me... I put my pinny on. I put the pinny on. So while it's nice and, and wet, I'll just start mixing it. So get that going over there, that going down there. Okay, it is so, 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 so busy, folks. You do need to check your basket out with this. It's always the way, as soon as you see it. I remember when I saw Blanche use this, it was like, oh my good grief, I need that in my life. And look at this. And it's just ridiculously easy. So yeah. layering that on, just getting those colours to merge and blend together because that makes them look so cool. There we go. It's just bringing that round like so. And what I love about this as well, I mean, putting it on with a sponge, you don't have to put it on too thick. So I'm not worried. I'm keeping my eye on it not being too thick as well. Because obviously with something like this, you don't want drips, you know, because when it's then drying, the last thing you want are drips on that. Sorry, we're still, that's... So look, look, when you put it on... Now, what I could do, though, is um, then use a paintbrush. So if you wanted more delicate bits... Again, I haven't used this yet, folks. So if this doesn't work, just excuse me. But, but, I am reckoning now, if we a steady hand you could then come in and start to paint it on. See, obviously get a steady hand and just get a steady hand. <laughs> Find anyone's, anyone that's got one. <laughs> in next door. <laughs> Excuse me, you've got a steady hand. <laughs> I mean, you could effectively, you could stamp on it first of all and then go over the top with this. Do you know nice. what I mean? You could do all sorts with it. So we just and we've only tried this on gla uh, glass. You might be doing this on cardstock. Oh, yeah. This is yeah. really going to pop. It is beautiful. I mean, it's just such, so incredible. And on the moldable so NDF as well. Oh, look at that. Isn't that fabulous? Absolutely amazing stuff. Um, on the acetate, now the acetate, it's still drying on acetate. Take longer than I thought. I actually thought it'd be dry by now. But on the other side of it, I mean, I'll have to finish this on the next hour. But look, look at the other side now. 
So with the paste, so you've got the paste on the top, you've then got the gold underneath, oh. but already looking good. I'm then going to put a layer of paint on this. Imagine how good that is going to look. Good. By the next hour, hopefully that will be dry, so I'll be able to finish that in the next hour, because uh, at the minute that is still tacky, but it's absolutely gorgeous. You do need to check your baskets out. This is super, super busy. Flying the door, uh, flying the door off. Flying the door off? <laughs> flying out the door. It's flying the oh. doors off. The doors are flying off the hinges. <laughs> uh, get it while you can. 60% of the liquid oh, metal lovely. now has already gone. It is flying the doors off. You <laughs> need to be quick. Who knows? if it's, So is the one day special as well. I was just thinking, imagine doing one of the bottles and then painting glue around the top of the bottle and just dipping it into the sea beads. Uh, so all the bling is round the top. We've only got 20 seconds left, Pooch. Wow. Where's that, that went gone? really fast. And it's hilarious. I had loads more demos and I've just <laughs> ended up playing. Now I'm putting dots on. Well, you keep you go dotty, <laughs> and we'll see you at eight o'clock, oh, seven o'clock, eight o'clock. We'll see you at eight o'clock with our Catherine. Uh, I'll see you in the next hour. Don't you go anywhere? Flying the doors off.